Welcome guys, in this lesson I will be looking at LCM and HCF which means lowest common multiple and highest common factor. Now this is a lesson that you usually learn right at the beginning of the year and I often find that students somehow, a lot of students, forget, tend to forget what they mean and sometimes they confuse one with the other. In fact, I've even seen some people uh, saying LCF, lowest common factor or something like highest common multiple, okay? It becomes quite crazy. But understand, you know, after this simple thing that we do at the beginning of the year, students tend to forget. So in this lesson, I am going to go over this and I'm also gonna show you a simple method on how you can actually calculate LCM and HCF with one single method. Okay, so in this question, we are gonna find the LCM, the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of 15 and 20. But you're probably sitting there thinking, hold on a minute, you haven't told us, you haven't reminded us what is a multiple or a factor. So I'm gonna do that real quick, okay? So write this down. A multiple is the times table of a number. So for example, the multiples of four are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, so on and so forth. These are the times table of four, okay? The multiples of five are five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. The factor, on the other hand, are numbers that go into another number. So for example, the factors of 20 are one and 20, because one goes into 20, 20 times, and 20 goes into 20 once. So I do them in pairs, I like to do them in pairs. So one and 20 are factors of 20. Um, you've got two and 10 are factors of 20. Let me write some of these down, just in case you're um, not following the same way. So 20, one and 20, two and 10. Then we have, and you check as well, can does three go into 20? No, it doesn't. Four, does four go in? Yes, it does, four and five. And can you see these are the pairs? Now you'll find that they are, they, get, they start to become closer together and that's when you know that you've exhausted, you've got all your factors. So the factors of 20 are one, two, four, five, 10 and 20, okay? Now, if we were to do a, another number, so for example, um, in this case, let's choose 15 because we are doing 15 anyway, okay? So let's do the factors of 15. So one and 15, and then you've got three and five. So the factors are one, three, five, and 15. So when a question asks you, what is the highest common factor between 20 and 15? You're looking for the number that is in both lists and the highest number that is in both lists. So in this case, the highest number that is in both of the lists is five. But I said to you that I will show you a method that you can use not only to find the highest common factor, but also the lowest common multiple. So you just learn one method and you kill two birds with one stone. So what is this method? Well, to use this method, you need to know your prime numbers. So what are prime numbers, which you need to know to use the method that I'm gonna teach you? Prime numbers are numbers which only have two factors, one and itself. Often students make this mistake and they think that one is a prime number and the first prime number. And that is wrong because one only has one factor, one. So the first prime number is actually two, which has one and two. The next prime number is three, then we got five, seven, so on and so forth. And no, nine was not one of them. That's a classic mistake that students make. When we're going in that list and we're getting into it, the prime numbers, they say nine. Nine is not a prime number because in nine, there's one and nine and three. It has three factors that go into that. And remember the definition of a prime number is it has only two factors. So let's get straight into my method now. Um, what you want to do is you want to write 15 and 20 because we find the LCM and the HCF of 15 and 20. And you want to put this little line in here like that, okay? Now, you want to divide by prime numbers. Now, the smallest prime number is two, but two doesn't divide into these. Well, it does divide into 20, but it doesn't divide into 15. So you've got to choose the next prime number that divides into both of them. And the next prime number is three. Once again, three goes into 15, but it doesn't go into 20. So you go to the next one, and that is five. 
5 goes into 15, and 5 goes into 20. So what is 15 divided by 5? 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now, one of these is a prime number, which means that you can't go on any further, you can't divide any more. To work out the HCF, this is the beauty of this technique. To work out the HCF is simply any numbers that are here multiplied by themselves. In this case, it's just 5. So we worked out earlier that 5 is the HCF, so HCF is equal to 5. The LCM is all of these numbers in an L shape, just look out for that L shape, multiplied. So the LCM would be in this case, and I like to do the, put them in order, so 3 times 4 times 5. You could do 5 times 3 times 4 as well, but like I said, I like to put them in order. So 3 times 4 times 5. And then I work this out. So 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 3 is 60. So the LCM of 15 and 20 is 60. Can you see what I meant by this technique? One method, and both LCM and HCF can be calculated. We'll look at this um, second example where we get a lot more division going on and um, then you can implement this and use this method all the time. So let's go on to our next question. We've got 36 and 84 and we want to find the LCM and HCF of both of those numbers. So just like before, we're going to write them like this and we are going to divide by prime numbers. So let's divide here by 2 because 2 goes into 36 and 84. So what does that give us? 36 divided by 2 gives us uh, 18, and 84 divided by 2 is 42. So we're going to continue. We're going to divide by 2 again, because again, both of these numbers can be divided by 2. So what do we get? We get 18 divided by 2, which is 9, 42 divided by 2, which is 21. And then we will look to divide these numbers again, and the next prime number, that divides into 9 and 21 is actually 3. So we will do that. So 9 divided by 3 equals 3, and 21 divided by 3 is 7. And notice both of them this time are prime numbers. Um, even if one of them was a prime number, we would have stopped. Okay, so do you remember how to find the HCF? The HCF is all of these numbers on the side multiplied. So it would be HCF is equal to 2 times 2 times 3, 2 times 2 times 3, which gives us 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, so the HCF is 12. And the LCM, the LCM is all of these numbers multiplied. So, once again, in order, the LCM would be, let's do it here. LCM, so it'd be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. So that's 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And you can work backwards, so you can do 3 times 7, um, uh, what's that, 21. Uh, 21 times 3 is 63, 63 times 2 is 126, and 126 times 2 is 252. Right, so the LCM here is 252. Now, if you can't do that in your head, it's no problem. You could probably um, have access to a calculator, but if this happens to be on a non-calculator paper, you're going to have to use long multiplication, okay? But I did make that one up, so, um, you know, maybe I've chosen some hard numbers. Right, so once again, the HCF is calculated by multiplying the numbers only on the side, and the LCM is calculated by multiplying all of the numbers in this L shape, L4, lowest common multiple. And that is how you calculate the LCM and the HCF using this one simple method that uses the prime numbers. Now let's look at a typical question where you're just asked to find one of those things. So H, find the HCF of 24, 42, and 84. Three numbers this time. We can use our method, okay? So let's put it down, 24, 42, and 84. This time, when using our method, we can't just consider two numbers, we've got to consider all three. So we need to find the prime number that goes into all three. But two, our good friend, our first prime number, comes in very handy here, okay, because two, divides into all of these. So that gives us 12, that gives us 21, 42 divided by 2, 21, and 84 divided by 2 is 42. 
So we've done division by two and we have to look for the next batch of numbers that we have been left with. Um, two doesn't divide into all of them this time. Um, so we have to think of the next prime number. Three, does three go into all of them? Let's have a look. Yes, I believe three will. So what do you get? You get 12 divided by three, which is four. 21 divided by three, which is seven. And 42 divided by three is 14, I believe. 14. Okay. So now one of those numbers is a prime number, which means that we will stop here. We won't divide any more. Okay, so we are told to find the HCF, the highest common factor. And the HCF is these numbers on the side multiplied. So the HCF is 2 times 3, which is 6. If we were asked to uh, find the LCM in the exam question, then it's simple. We'll just multiply all of these numbers together. Obviously, this, was, this will give us very, very large uh, lowest common multiple. Now... The exam style questions, depending on whether you're doing higher or foundation, will give you questions that are straight forward like this, where it says find the LCM, find the HCF, or they might be in a sentence form. For example, they might say to you that there are two Christmas lights, okay, and one of them blinks every four seconds, and the other one blinks every six seconds. You know, when do they next blink together if they both start blinking at the same time? And you'll do the same thing. You'll find the lowest common multiple of four and um, six. Okay, just like this, just like you've done before. Or they might say to you um, questions like, um, when, how many times do they blink in three minutes at the same time? Okay, uh, there are various, various types of questions that they can ask you like that. But essentially, the method, the principle is the same. And using this technique, you can find both LCM and HCF. Goodbye for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please do share with your friends and your family.